Hi, everybody. I am Samantha Moore. I'm a meteorologist with 11 Alive, one of the 11 Alive storm trackers. And this week, because we're all at home and you can see my kitchen behind me here, uh, we are doing storm tracker school with everybody who's studying online. We're going to add to your workload, but hopefully this will be some fun. And we'll talk about uh, the weather today, which, of course, is not the best for uh, being outside so it's good to be having projects inside to do like learning about rainbows which is what we are going to do today hi angie angie is online with me here how you doing there i hope y'all are safe and healthy as we begin this little storm tracker session today and we're going to focus on the optics of sun because as, as you can see um, yay storm tracking school says heidi good to see you there um you can look behind in my uh backyard here and you can see yep rain's coming down it's on the patio it's light right now but we did have some thunderstorms earlier but of course for all the kids out there i know parents are very familiar with light but the light is it looks yellow to us when we look at the sunshine right now it just looks kind of gray because the clouds are kind of scattering the light so that everything to us looks kind of gray but actually uh, the old um, way of remembering all the colors of the rainbow, rainbow is easily seen as we take a look at this rainbow, which we might see some rainbows today if we get some breaks in this cloud cover. And of course, white light is all around us, but it, it can be broken down into different wavelengths and different colors. So a rainbow is actually just the white light that's broken down into different colors. So we have red, orange, yellow. So that's your Roy. This is the way you can remember the colors of the rainbow. We have red, orange, yellow, G, and then Biv. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, uh, indigo, which of course is the color of blue jeans, and violet. So Roy G. Biv is how we remember how the colors break down. And we're gonna kind of do an experiment if you have any um, DVDs or uh, CDs. I know now we're all digital, so we don't always have CDs lying around like we used to, but I've got a whole case of them that I rarely play anymore. Everything is online, right? But I've got um, just a, a CD here. This is a music CD that's Satellite, I thought that was appropriate. Satellite is the group that did this. Hey, Heidi, does Roy G. Biv, she is learning. Uh, hi, Cynthia, thank you for joining us, and Glenn. Uh, yeah, we are, uh, I'm at home, that's where my location is. And it's raining all across North Georgia, so we're doing a little weather school inside, and we're talking about how white light breaks down into all the colors of the rainbow. So you may want to grab a CD. Oh, Nicole says, hear thunder at her house in Homer. The rain is coming down. Good morning, Margaret. Thank you for joining us for our little storm tracker school here. And we might be able to see some rainbows outside later today. And if we do, they'll be made up into, the white light will be broken into all of these colors um, all the colors of the rainbow, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And it gets broken down into those colors as the rays get bent by um, different things. Like for example, the CD, it can break down the colors. In fact, you can see all those rainbow colors on the CD itself. That's because the light is getting bent and uh, refracted so that we can see the different colors of light. The CD itself isn't colored, it's silvery, right? Like a mirror but or a crystal, but it breaks down the light in all the different colors of the rainbow. So um, today that is our lesson and our experiment is really a simple one. You just need to find a CD or a DVD. Um, a crystal can work too, but this is just easier to use this. So I'm going to try. Good morning, uh, LaRonda. Nice to see you there, Chantel. Chantella Allen. Yeah, love rainbows and Roy G. Biv. It is a great way to recall all the different colors. Roy G. Biv. So we're going to try this experiment. Unfortunately, 
and I have my flashlight shining at you, sorry. I was trying this earlier, but unfortunately I'm wearing black because I have my 11 Alive shirt on, so I'm gonna try to prop up this piece of paper. So you should be able to do this flat on a countertop, but I'm gonna try, whoops, I got it the wrong way. I'm just gonna shine the flashlight on the DVD, or on the CD, excuse me. Now I've gotta get it so you can see it. Do you see the rainbow up there at the top of the page? I'm not sure you do. It's very hard to see. I thought I was gonna have my husband technical crew, but he decided he had some work to do. So um, if you shine a flashlight on the CD, it will break down the colors of the light. I just having a hard time showing it to you. It's almost better if I just show you how it reflects right there. You can see all the colors of my light, which is coming from my pendant lighting up above, shining on the CD itself, breaks down the Roy G. Bibb colors. It's kind of a cool thing, and, and that's how we get the colors of the rainbow. It's white light all around us. So later on today, when we get some breaks in the clouds, and we are expecting two waves of storms today, once we get some breaks in the action and we get a little sunlight, we could likely see a rainbow that's going to be produced as um, the sunlight it's always best to have the sunlight behind you and then you look in towards where the rain may be falling and that's of course where you'll see a rainbow. You have to have the sunlight behind you to actually see the colors broken down and the raindrops act like that CD that I was just using. It breaks down the colors of the rainbow. So that's just an easy little way to quickly see all the different colors of white light because the colors of the rainbow are around us all the time, we just don't see them with our human eye until the light is refracted and bent so that it breaks down the light in all the different colors, the Roy G. Biv colors, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo, and the violet. So it's a really easy way to see, even though it's all around us right now, we can't really see it. Hi, Crystal. It's nice to have you there today at our, uh, at our Storm Tracker School. She says the kids are home bored to death, so adding this helps pull them in to have something to do. Um, I'm so glad that you're able to do it. So I'm going to try it again so that we can actually see the colors reflected on the light. We could probably try to do it on the wall if I was... Um, I need my tripod. I, I ordered one from Amazon. I thought I had one but we don't use video cameras anymore, so it's coming. So hopefully by tomorrow's weather school, I'll have a tripod so I can do better experiments here. But if you take your CD, and I'm gonna try it again. I guess I could put on my apron. If I put, hold on, I'm gonna put on my apron. I've got a white apron. I think that will maybe work, and then I won't have to. Hang in there, kid. Well, this is my old, this is one of my older aprons. There we go. But it is mainly white. So maybe, maybe this will work. And we can take the white color of the flashlight and we can break it down into Roy G. Biv. Okay, let's see. So this is just your typical CD. It happens to be by the group Satellite. Do you remember them? Satellite. I thought that's kind of cool because weather satellites give us very important imagery showing us storms coming in. So we're gonna use satellite today. But all CDs look the same. They're basically, they have that metallic coating that has all of the songs on it. So it breaks down white light into rainbows. So what I'm gonna to try to do here is take my flashlight and I'm gonna shine it, see if I can get this reflecting. There, I can see the rainbow. I don't know that you can though. Can you see it? Okay, I'm seeing a rainbow, all the colors being broken down. Let's see if I can get this up a little further. Oh, I hear my husband's footsteps. Maybe he can help us get this at the right angle. Can you see it? See, are you going to do weather school? I think we're trying to do weather school every day at 11 o'clock. Um, 
Let's see, we hope, uh, let's see. Oh, that's for my 11 Live people. We hope you're enjoying this weather school lesson, breaking down white light into all the colors of the rainbow. And you know, the colors of the rainbow are around us all the time. It's just being able to see the colors, that's the trick. And when it rains like it is outside and we get the sunshine behind us and the rain is in front of us, it will bend those light rays and sometimes we can get lucky and we can see all the different colors that make up white light. Um, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the violet, and the indigo. So that's all around us all the time. We just don't see it unless those light rays are bent by a raindrop, a crystal, um, or the silvery side of a CD. Okay, I'm gonna try it again here if I can. I'm propping this up on my orchid plant. Here's my storm tracker school. I'm gonna take this call from my boss, Jennifer Rigby, and then I will um, be back here at 11 o'clock tomorrow for another edition of Weather School. We will see you then. In the meantime, have fun making rainbows today, and I hope you see some maybe outside as we get a break in the storms later as well. Take care. This is Samantha Moore, one of your 11 Alive Storm Trackers.